Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today, you are going to be listening to this audio and we'll be in 2021. Well, I am recording it on December 30th, 2020. I think it's going to take a bit for us to ease into the new year and that's okay. Let's talk about how we perceive this time the now. So there's a lot of talk about being in the present moment and being in the now and that's where the power is. And that's been discussed by several spiritual teachers and personal development gurus for decades. I'm thinking of Eckhart Tolle, for example, and many, many others. And I think right here, right now in this moment, I'm actually starting to maybe get that understand perhaps what the lesson is in that phrase, that concept of the now and being present. And I want to share that with you, but I'm going to give you a little warning of it because it comes through this connection to our story and specifically our story related to pain I know, not a fun topic. I know, I know. But it's part of the whole. We are all good and bad. We are all light and shadow. We are all. There are two parts that make us whole. And we must embrace all of these aspects of ourselves and all of the experiences that we've endured, good or bad, positive or negative, in order to really come to a place of embracing and accepting ourselves as whole without the need for approval from outside of ourselves in order to hold up our lives for comparison in order to create a value about that life. So where does this idea of our pain and understanding pain come through? What if, what if the story that we tell ourselves about our pain, about what's causing us angst, What is causing you discomfort? Now, pain has a range, right? I'm thinking about being in a hospital and having that little chart of different different facial expressions. You know what I'm talking about? That range on the pain scale of of how uncomfortable you are, how much in agony you may be at that time. And there is a huge range of pain and there's a tolerance of pain and for for at the very basic level it's discomfort where did we come up with this idea that being comfortable all the time was our goal i mean is it is that what it means to be human to be comfortable all the time is that what we're striving for Is that what we have as a collective expectation of a baseline and when we don't have the comfort whatever that looks like for you in your life and any part of your life, if there's not comfort, does that mean that there's pain? Does that mean there's a problem? Let's think about this. What if we are telling ourselves this story? That story is what is causing the pain and perpetuating the feeling, lingering, the feeling of pain. Even, even though a physical trauma can heal, how is it that in, our, in an energetic sense that we could keep alive this through a story of comfort or lack of at the very baseline, at the very baseline, And then going off into this depth of pain, despair, angst, frustration, agony, torture, trauma, emotionally reliving horrific experiences, or even at the simplest form, discomfort, the simplest form, discomfort. What if our pain story that we're telling ourselves, that we're connected to, is really what's keeping alive the pain? And that it interrupts the process of healing. Interesting.
So if right here in this moment, what is bad? Is this moment actually bad? This moment right here, right now, as I'm sitting here, I am, I am contemplating how I've been struggling with, you know, emotions this last week. There's often a lot of clearing for me personally as a psychic, as a, as a, as a person during this time of year in December and starting with the winter solstice and through the end of the year and into a, the next year. We just had a full moon today and lots of opportunities for shedding, 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 shedding and clearing. As we move forward into a new cycle, which is actually a calendar year, but a new phase. And so like I'm used to this, but I've been uncomfortable and and I felt disjointed, disconnected, and that's totally normal. And I know this. And yet, is there really anything wrong with that? Like, why is that painful? Why is the clearing process part of my pain story or how is this moment part of my pain story and what is my pain story why am i uncomfortable why am i holding on to this idea that the now is not good it's bad is it because my mind is judging the lack of productivity or oh gosh whatever it may be whether it's you know exercising eating well or whether it's implementing that scheduling software I literally have been working on for a month because I'm not not really into details. Now, for me, that's painful. Yes, it's uncomfortable and I, I detest it. And so is that my pain story? Why is that painful for me? What is that really about? Is it about a fear of failure, a feeling of not being good at details? Is that part of a collective pattern of experiences I've had related to pain that link when linked together amplify a painful story for me? Not just one event, but a series of events that or experiences or where I've, I've encountered or, or experienced feelings of discomfort and together collectively they snowball and they create this energy of resistance and give a blanketed definition of bad. This is bad. Feeling like this is bad. Therefore, I am bad. I am unworthy. I don't deserve to be happy because I have this story about pain. I'm uncomfortable. Therefore, there's something wrong with me. I am never enough because I'm not present. Yes, right there. That's it. I'm not present for this moment. The truth is, it is not good or bad. It just is. We attach the story of pain. We create the chain. We amplify it. Let's turn the volume down by releasing some of these hidden pieces of our stories, maybe writing your pain story and and start with something very simple like discomfort, just something you're annoyed with or frustrated with, something that somebody else does that drives you nuts, a pet peeve. Start simply and begin the unfurling, the releasing of these bonds, this tied up knotted string and allow, allow things to Start to loosen up so that the energy can just simply shift. You're not going to resolve your problems and cure your traumas. That's not what it's about. It, life, is about the now. And that's what being present is. That's what it's about. (sighs) So by the time you listen to this, this will be 2021. So happy new year to you. If you're not quite here yet, don't worry. I will not be fully embraced and grounded, even landing into the new year, probably until the third week of January or so. Usually for me, that's kind of a thing. You'll notice that in the month of January, if you follow me on Bridget Inspired, my Facebook page, or Fairy Grasshopper, my YouTube channel where I do vlogging and talk about all my intuitive services and offerings, I you will see that I will be offering some try-it 
services and sessions and things, some group things that you can experience for free in the month of January. And then if it's something that you find useful, beneficial, and would like to continue with, then you can purchase those services in through the year to help support you throughout and into this new year of 2021. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to being part of the journey and sharing with you.